Munition für dich. Werfe auch Granate! Hi guys, this is Matthias, Ace, and yes, you already know it. This video is about the limpet charge. And obviously, if you make a video about the limpet charge, you play the support class. You'll see me use mostly the LMG-8, even though here in the beginning, I'm using the Parabellum. The first clip here, I'm on Argon Forest, and I'm in an ideal situation for using the limpet. There's this tiny little hill-ish part of the map that separates me from a bunch of enemies and it's just small enough so that I can throw the limpet and make it land where the enemies are. Of course for them this seems like a good place to take cover from incoming fire from my team. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, let's quickly move over to Passchendaele. I'm throwing a couple of smoke grenades in order to approach an enemy landship. Now here I make the mistake of not spotting the landship. Had I done that, I would have known that this limpet charge would only take down the hit points to somewhere around half. Maybe 40-45% is more accurate, I'm not entirely sure. But luckily, the combination of the rubble and my smoke grenades helps me to stay in cover long enough to resupply another limpet charge, and this is the death blow. Oh baby, a triple! Grizzly! That's about as close as I get today, maybe. So here you'll see a situation of something that I have yet never done. And funny as it is, I don't even succeed here, and it's still a pretty good clip. Ah. Oh! <laughs> a double, guys! <laughs> and kill! Kill assist counts as kill! So while streaming, I constantly get the questions, Hey Mati, can you try out this weapon? Can you try out that weapon? And overall, nowadays I would say, unless it's a weapon that is totally out of my style, for about 30% of these requests, I actually do try out the weapon for a varied amount of time, I might ask. Sometimes it's just a few spawns, sometimes, depending on the situation and depending on the weapon, I can play with it for maybe a round or half a round. This is one of those situations, someone asked me to use the Shosha and I was like, okay. Oh, what happened to that tank? I know I hit it with a limpet, but I didn't hit it that hard. <laughs> Now, of course, many times in order to be successful with the limpet charge, you need to be both skillful and tactical in order to, especially in order to get to the situations where the limpet really matters. But many times it's like this. When in doubt, throw a limpet. Coming on you. Nice. Yeah, I defended. Oh, they're coming from here. Oh, baby, a double! So yeah, big thanks to my community for that expression. I unfortunately don't know who it actually comes from. I apologize for that. But uh, nevertheless, it is a great expression. Now here's another one of those situations. Uh, we are now on Suez, by the way, where throwing a limpet over a part of the map that separates your team from the enemy team. In this case, it's this Sanddyne, which is, you know, kind of like a tiny little hill. I'm sure you can at least partly see the resemblance to the first clip on Ergon Forest. That Just the fact that I'm throwing it above the area that separates me from the enemy team. Of course in this situation it's a little bit problematic the fact that most enemies are going to be out of range of the limpage charge. Meaning I can't really throw it that far. So it's only the ones that are really pushing that I can actually damage or kill. Henry. On the flag. Gas. Kill the sentry. Nice. He shot me through the wall. This is impossible. Come on, we can Thank do you. this. Oh, I... 
I got the sentry. So here's another one of those examples when I'm using a weapon that I don't normally use. This is the Hewat. And the fact is, I've been able to do quite well with it in some situations, but for the most part, I think I'll stick to the LMG-8 and the Parabellum. Oh, baby, a dapple! <laughs> what a nice revive there. So yeah, just because I very rarely use the Hewat, I'm gonna show you a clip here where I get at least a few kills with it, and hopefully it will help you make up your mind whether or not this is a weapon worth trying out again if you haven't used it in a while. Basically, I would say this is one of those weapons that are just easy to use, and that's its only really advantage. It doesn't require any recoil compensation or control in any way. And the drawback is of course that it is not nearly as good, in my opinion at least, as those weapons that do require a little bit of control, but that are much stronger if you know how to handle them. So yeah, anyway, I really hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, AT rocket gun is... Deploying the bipods there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what? I was gonna give him ammo was my idea and then I dropped a limpet charge on my friendly. If you come to where I am, yeah, yeah. can yeah. take out the... Disabled, <laughs> <I> got it. <laughs> I don't wanna hear anybody talk about limpet addiction, okay? Can I aim? Oh, 
Боеприпасы! Это тебе! Держите на мамуху, сволочи! Ah, I got one more. A double! <laughs> Oh shit, grenade! Oh baby, a double! Ah! Oh, out of ammo! Oh! But a limpet charge. Kill. Smoke grenade. What? Ah. Oh yeah, baby. Yay. Oh, there he is. Oh, I killed the sentry. 
And I got a limpet kill. Oh baby, a kill. A double kill, but the damn flame trooper survived it. What is this? 